there's a lot you can do in this town You set it up and turn it around We might have come from somewhere else But this is where we found ourselves Welcome to the local show People you work with, people you Welcome to another edition of The Local Show here on Grassroots Community Network. Happy spring, guys. I'm Eric Scarvin, your host. Thanks for joining us as we move into the heat of spring and close to off-season, guys. Hope you're enjoying the amazing skiing we've had the last couple weeks and all the other alternatives. Today, we're going to talk about an alternative that's, uh, well, in the dining, food and beverage area. I want to welcome first-time guest Brad Smith. Uh-huh. And Adam Mam- Momgren. 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 Thank you, Adam, <laughs> Thank for you. that. Meeting you for the first time. Brad, we've met in the past. Yeah. And welcome to the local show, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and we're so excited uh, to have Buck in our community. It's been getting quite a bit of... Uh, you know, word of mouth and buzz this winter. So I want to thank you for creating a local gathering spot that's affordable and fun and go down there and see familiar faces and yeah, uh, really, really grateful. And um, it's been fun. How's it been so far, yeah, Brad? It's for been you a guys? lot of fun. I, you know, the best part is when I'm riding the gala with some strangers and right. kids start talking, oh, you got to go to Buck. And I'm just sitting there. They don't know who I am. And exactly. It's really fun to hear that. You get that proud papa yeah, feeling yeah. about that? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because, I mean, it was a passion, dream, I mean, trying to yeah. build this and have that. I tried to do that with the Red Onion, and I think we were pretty successful for a number yeah, of years. Yeah, and then, uh, so, when that left, it, trying to fill that void. Yeah. So, that's been the, that was the goal. And we knew that space existed because it had been there, um, gosh, for 10, 10, 12 years. Seems like, like at least 10 years. Yeah. It's been kind of sitting empty. It's that empty, yeah. yeah. And we knew that, you know, it was something that we could actually afford rent wise, which is what's happening with a lot of these restaurants, yeah. including Michola. Me, me yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It was, a, it was a interesting to build out, but. Mm-hmm. We did it ourselves. I mean, Luckily, that was, that was one of the keys, right? The space needed to be finished off. Yeah. yeah and was... all four of us have some sort of construction background. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully. So we were in there getting it done. Weren't you carrying buckets of like uh, so rocks? P P rocks. Three ton- or no, no, no rocks. rocks. Three tons of rocks. Yeah. They, of underneath rocks. the bar and by the TV behind the the wire. All those Gabian walls are the yeah. So oh my gosh. Three tons of rocks. They went and got down in Grand Junction. Yeah. We carried them down in five gallon buckets. So again some good workout value yeah. there yeah. getting that yeah. upper body in there oh then we got to smash to... them with a hammer to try and make them fit to make them the right shape yeah oh my gosh we had our wives down there dipping them in water to clean the rocks before we put them in yeah, yeah it was, so it's like a real family it uh, was oh, yeah. equity effort oh, yeah. there. Uh, yes totally uh, oh my gosh well let's go back a little bit in time because um i mean you guys have pretty extensive uh, hotel restaurant background what we call H and R. I was yeah. educated in the hotel restaurant mm-hmm. uh, major, um, you know, back in the day, and worked my first twelve years in Aspen in hotels and restaurants. And Adam, tell us a little bit about your background um, since you arrived in Aspen. So I arrived in Aspen, and I think it was two thousand. It's a little bit of a gray area. It's two thousand, two thousand one ish, ish, but ish, ish, yeah, right, right ish. The, the new millennium. Yeah, right, right around there, in there around then. You know, it was young and wild. Gets so a little hazy a little, back then. Yeah, a little <laughs> for hazy some for reason. sure. A little fuzzy. For sure, I got a I got a job at uh, Bella Mia. All right. Um, in okay. in El Jabel. walked in there, and you know, fresh from California, I had a bleach blonde mohawk, and oh my god, somehow got a job bartending. And you the, fooled them. Oh, uh, uh, I'd never, never bartended before in my life. Oh my she was like, you know how to bartend? I was like, yeah, sure. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking, oh, I bartended. Yeah, I've drank parties. before. I mean, how far is that for drinks? Oh, <laughs> as you know, but I've been working in restaurants since I was about 14. Wow. Used to hang flyers on doors. And okay. so I worked there and worked at a bunch of other places. Ended up working at the cantina forever. Wow. And then, you know, a couple of places in between like Campo and La Hosteria. Wow. And then, you know... Now I'm one of the owners of Michola, and the, then Brad, Jordan, Rigo, and I teamed up. We opened La Raza, and now Buck. So La Raza is the restaurant down in Carbondale, right yep. across from the Forest Service. Yep. yep. Okay, and what's that menu like at La Raza? Mexican food, like Mexican? kind of okay. uh, blend of contemporary and traditional. Yes. Okay. 
And Brad, you've also had a ex very extensive background, including yeah. pinions. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your local so hospitality? So I got here in 92. Um, I bartended also in El Jebel at the shortstop as immediately when I got here. Um, and I came to Aspen in 93 lied to Rob to get a kit job in the kitchen at Pinions and told him I had more experience than I did. <laughs> Mobilian? I didn't, yeah, I didn't have any experience, but I knew how to, I had taken some kitchen classes in restaurant management school, nice. so I knew how to hold a knife, and I got it in there, and I was there for seven years in the 90s, all of the 90s, really, and, uh, and honestly, I thought I was going to be leaving town at the end of that run, because I didn't see a future, couldn't forward to live here couldn't you know yeah yeah um had a job offer in bishop california where i was going every spring anyway to climb and ski and okay um came back at summer worked at pinions and was planning on going back to bishop at the end of the summer of 2000 and the crystal palace was hiring an executive chef so i turned in my resume and and ended up there for the last nine years of the crystal palace which was wow what an amazing place to work. And, just uh, legendary. And legendary. Mead Metcalf led the way there. Oh, my God. Just he is, unbelievable. And he had great stories, too. I mean, yeah. coming here in the 50s. and oh. So he was such a great mentor. Yeah. <clears throat> and then when he closed, the Red Onion was reopening, and I was brought in to help run the bar there. And it led into ownership and 10 years at the Red Onion which Holy was, moly. which, what a run. And then I brought Jordan in at the Red Onion at the beginning when I started there. He came and wanted a job as a bartender. I'm like, great, what's your experience? Well, I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Do you, have a, little, well, do you have a little if, flashback? If, if, if you know Jordan White, even if he puts, sets his mind to it, he's going to talk you into it. Yeah. Right, right, okay. I've never done it, but you're going to hire me. Yeah. Sure. A bit of a salesman, too. There, <laughs> oh, he huh? is very yeah, good. He's a pretty maybe convincing not as much guy. a salesman. He just tells you, you're going to do this. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. great. And he's he pretty large you. and he, kind of an imposing character, too. Love Jordan. He can convince anyone anything. Yes. I love that. But he's... He's shout out to Jordan White, your yeah, partner. Yeah. And he's amazing. He really is uh his memory recall is just I mean, he can remember every Everything. single drink that a party ordered weeks after. Jeez. Like I would get calls for chargebacks uh, on a thing and he's like, Oh no, they had this. Oh, and he ordered a round of shots for the th five girls here on the other side. <laughs> and he's trying to say he didn't order those. <laughs> So. And his organizational. That's and, amazing. Yeah. If there's a piece of paperwork that was filled out 99% between the four of us, yeah. Jordan filled it yeah, out. Yeah, Jordan did all that. Yeah. He's got he's, that eye for detail. Yeah, yeah that's memory, not us. Yeah. Like yeah. Photographic yeah. memory almost. Yeah. Yes, very he much. He found so. his special purpose there. He, did, he really did. Plugged yeah. in. I met my wife at his bar. Oh, oh my she, gosh. She was bartending for him. Yeah. It really sounds like a family you yeah, know, is, that you yeah. guys have. You know, yeah. your long-time relationships, you get along really well. Yeah. You also have a fourth partner. Rigoberto Vasquez. Rigo, Rigo. Yeah. Rigo. Shout out to Rigo. Yeah. And Rigo's amazing His culinary skills as well. And he's worked in a lot of different cuisines yeah. in this valley as well. Matsu and Wow. Uh, yeah. Chola, so, Cantina, yeah. a couple other random places. Yeah. But amazing. Yeah. Self taught, just like kinda like Brad. And yeah. Just cool. Well we're gonna take a quick break, guys. Rehydrate. Okay. We do have adult beverages if you're, right. uh, you know, inclined that way. Yeah. We, we want to have we, variety we, here like you have a variety of yeah. beverages at, at Buck. <laughs> but I do want to thank our Winter Round writers for making these shows happen November through April, including Haiti Children, Highlands Ale House, Klug Properties, Paradise Bakery, Pickin County Solid Waste Center, Susie's Consignment Aspen, Sundog Athletics, White River Overland, Wheeler Opera House, we're going to take a two-minute break. It'll be our only one of the show, guys. And we're going to come back with the new Buck owners, Brad and Adam, and so much more, and some insider tips. So don't go away. At the Wheeler Opera House, we set the stage for connections that create memories for our audiences, artists, and greater Aspen community. At the Wheeler Opera House, all are welcome. You're welcome to be a part of history.
I'm so passionate about this community. I absolutely love living here and raising my family here. It gives me a lot of pride to share this with my friends and my clients and help them achieve their, their dreams of owning an Aspen Snowmass and enjoying this incredible lifestyle. Want to live like a local? Help us reduce food waste, a major contributor to climate change. You can help in three simple ways. Plan menus carefully and only buy what you need. Collect unused scraps for compost. Buy ugly fruits and vegetables. Reduce, Reduce food, food waste. waste. Live, Live like, like a, a local. local. Red Brick Center for the Arts is Aspen's hub for creative activity, offering youth and adult art classes, gallery exhibitions, artist studios, and nonprofits. You can take a class, meet with artists, purchase art, and be a part of Aspen's art scene. More at redbrickaspen.com. Locally owned and operated and consistently voted number one for Opry Ski, Highlands Ale House is the local ski bar serving delicious drinks and comfort food, including pizza, burgers, salads, bowls, and more, located at the base of Aspen Highlands. Brought to you by Paradise Bakery and Gelateria, serving Aspen for 42 years. White River Overland specializes in camper van upfitting, catering to mountain outdoor enthusiasts. WRO's builds are purpose-driven to enhance skiing, cycling, camping, climbing, and river adventures. WRO is nestled in the White River National Forest in Aspen. Susie's Consignment in Aspen at 600 East Main. Same friendly faces, same great prices, and new items daily. See you at Susie's. Welcome to the local show. People you work with, people you know. Thanks for sticking with us here on the local show. Guys, have you heard about the new buck? Well, you got to stop on by uh, because you guys are doing an amazing job. Uh, we talked about the four partners. Uh, again, shout out to Jordan and Rigo who couldn't yeah. be here today. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk, let's get into the menu a little bit. Um, and I want to talk about the atmosphere and the ambiance, which is also fantastic. But uh, talk about a little bit, of Brad, on the uh, pricing because you can get out for under twenty dollars. Pretty much everything on the menu is under twenty dollars. Pretty incredible. much everything. So. And the other thing that's great about it is all of our beef is coming from Mace, the Mace Ranch. That's from right. From longtime local Mace family. The Mace family. Um, we have a Wagyu lasagna on Monday nights that's coming from T Lazy 7. Nice. Um, and then our lamb shepherd's pie, which is actually lamb that I raised. That's from your property, My right? My property, yeah. Yeah. Champagne Farms. Um, and we've <laughs> just put in our more order for more lambs from Strang Ranch that will be coming in. And next month or June, very, I believe. So lamb very chop. cool. Lamb, what we rack, the rack, we call it the lamb sickle or lamb lollipop, if you will. Uh, <laughs> um, so lamb on a stick is yeah. that kind of the deal? Well, you know, okay. it's just a one piece of rack of lamb. Okay. Just like the so, heart of it, you know. Yeah, I love it. So I love I, it. I've so seen lamb awesome. rack of lamb for years at Pinions and at oh. at the Crystal Palace. And at the Crystal Palace, you would, I would have extra ones, and I would take them out to friends and everybody, oh, let me get one of those lamb sickles in. Ah. So I was like, all right, we gotta put this on the menu as That's a, like a lamb sickle. Hit. Okay, And That's it cool. helps keep the price down, you know, cause one of the deals with our lease is we have to be, our menu prices have to be in the lower third of the entire town. Now I believe we're probably lower than that even. Yeah. Right, right. If you right. look around at a lot of menu prices in this town. But uh, I love you it. know, that was the goal. So, and we have three sandwiches. We have a burger. We have a fried chicken sandwich. It's my family fried chicken area. Your son endorses that one. Yeah, he, eats, it's, he eats it every time he and comes I've, in. I've heard rave, <laughs> rave reviews on yeah. the fried chicken sandwich. And then we do a black and dahi sandwich as well, which has nice. been a big hit as well. And mm. the so, black bean burger. Oh, that's black, what I'm going oh, yeah, for next thank time. You. The black bean burger is Black awesome. bean burger. Yeah. So it's that, not vegetarians like a pre patty. It's, you know, they we, make it from Everything scratch. is made in-house, uh, including our condiments. Our ketchup is catches people off because it's really? a, a bourbon ketchup that we make. It was it's tomatoes not a traditional, earlier in the day. <laughs> it's not a traditional what Heinz sugar ketchup. It's something it. we make in house. So, so you mash the 
tomatoes and you yes. add a little bourbon in there bourbon and, and vinegar vinegar and a little tomato paste to get your yeah man yeah i'm just coming in yeah. for a shot of ketchup man. <laughs> yeah, exactly so adam talk a little bit more about the menu because i had the mac and cheese with the bacon yeah yeah. And for me, that's like a rare pleasure. But talk about comfort food. I oh, was, yeah. I couldn't even finish it. And then, and you it know, was, it was awesome. some of our specials are, are really getting like the shepherd's pie. And yeah. then my favorite, you know, I'm a California kid. I've been out here for 24 years, but I used to love in and out And like oh, yeah. when Brad made that burger for the first time, it's got that nice thin patty. I'm like, dude. We got to do a second patty option. Get the double double. Yeah, so there you can you do go. the double double. Just don't with call bacon. it that. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah exactly. We saw that over that. the we second that. patty yeah. option. Yeah, yeah. Jack Savern so, when they try to go there. Oh yeah, you can't oh, call it that. Can't call it that. But, but yeah, you, you do the second bird. patty option with bacon, and it's it's oh. like it's great. It's the burger's awesome on its own. Oh. When you when you double that patty up, it's 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 more kick. Oh, I think I'm just gonna walk over there with you guys right after the show. The wings, which are we keep forgetting to put on the menu, but we always have yeah. okay. the wings have been fun with that with that yeah. habanero wing and then oh. it's like a blood orange habanero and then our traditional uh, chili. yeah red chili yeah. wing and so that's kind of a fun thing and the pot stickers and the pot sticker. and, oh yeah we so some really yeah. classic stuff yeah um, brought some things from yeah the, so the lamb or we do a lobster um wontons and it's Amazing. pretty much the same filling for the lobster strudel that we used to make at Pinions back in the oh, day. Oh, man. And then oh, the buck salad is Light pretty, pretty similar to the Freddy salad, if if anybody remembers Pinions Freddy salad. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. And then uh, we got JJ's so you got to special pull, You Sunday. got to pull from these places so we, that you had worked in in yeah, the past yeah. and kind of the best of. I know? mean, even the decor Greatest in hits. there is like... You know, a little bit of everything. stained glass at the bottom of the stairs. That's from the Crystal Palace. Yeah, so. and we got some great images, too. So, so let's talk about the, uh, the atmosphere, the ambiance, the kind of the setting. You talked about the uh, Crystal Palace. I thought that was from one of the churches, local churches. No. But Crystal Palace Crystal had that Palace stained glass. Yeah. And when they were doing the remodel, um, one of the guys do, doing all that remodel was throwing that away and called me knowing that... Ooh. I was there, and he's like, "Hey, do you want any of these?" I, oh, I bought. I went over and grabbed like eight pieces of stained glass that were just laying in the back alley. <laughs> and stained glass is, has value. I mean, it that, does. that has yeah. real value. So you yeah. get to repurpose that. Yeah. And then Adam, talk about the ski wall because well, that's what you noticed. When kind the of ski wall came up, we put out a call to action to the community, and we just told them the new bar is opening, and we need we need vintage skis. You know, anything pre shaped. <laughs> and it, you know to put up on the wall to make a wall and pretty much almost every single ski up there someone brought to us so it's kind of fun watching people come in and like either be like oh i remember skiing on that ski or exactly. someone being like that's my ski or that exactly yeah. that's like there's still some people's initials on there and it's <sighs> like i can't that's tell you special. i love yeah. watching people reminisce about skis like there's a pair of skis on that wall that was my very first. It wasn't. It's not my ski, but it was like the first ski I bought for ski racing. And exactly. like, it's, it's fun to look at it. It makes yeah. me think of when I was 12 years old. Or you'll go, I had that pair of Atomics. Yep. I had that yep. pair of K2s. I had those Rozzies. Yep. And then some people can even ID their own personal skis, Which obviously, because they cool. donated yeah. them. Yep. Do you need any more skis at all? Not or right you're now. You're pretty set for that. We're, we're, we're set. set. Yeah. And then it's, the bathroom's it's finished. Kind of, Takes it. The bathroom door is kind of made out of skis. It's our it? little yeah, hidden it's, door. It's, like it's got to look for the doorknob. I love that thing. That, that bathroom so cool. was spicy. Building that, there was like there's a metal wall that was just one big sheet of metal. That yes, it was pretty comical. The those Jordan, Brad, and I, we had to wrestle that metal. Like we found a way to bend it enough to get it in the door, yeah. and then we had to like get it up and over the fixtures and like yeah. i think we spent five hours yeah on yeah. that one wall and then there was another th <laughs> another night at the like at towards the end we were getting close to the end of the construction and we had a double door freezer that we had to get in while we had turned the stairs the main entrance oh, wow. and it didn't fit anymore oh boy so we go down the back and it I think it was, we were there for six hours wrestling. Yeah. That. And like, Jordan and Adam one point and I. he was pinned like in the corner. We're like, uh oh, <laughs> Brad's stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys are really vested into that. I mean, what does yeah. it mean to you? Like, you talk about all this stuff. It's like you Saving did the this work, that work. You pretty yeah. much, you know, created the interior. 
Like, what does that mean to you, Brad? Because that's, that's a little deeper than most restaurateurs. I mean, it is my heart. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. like everything I've ever wanted. And, and it's something I think it's for everybody. Yeah. I mean, we open at three because we, we want to operate ski. Right, right. Where, where do you operate ski now? We also opened at three because we want to go ski. And we want to go ski. We want to go ski. Yeah, you still want to have a chance to get your ski day. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, And accommodate your uh, locals who want to come in right away. Yeah. yeah. And that maybe leads to some tips. Like, what would you suggest to locals who've been, maybe they tried to get in and was kind of crowded. I mean, timing-wise, um, Adam, do you have a tip? Well, I mean, like, you know, earlier in the week, it's definitely a little bit easier to get in. Okay, like um, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Yeah, maybe. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. you know. And okay. then... For yeah, people we did who are Tuesday. starting to follow our daily specials, because every day of the week we have a special that we have every week. Okay. If you if you see a day that you like that special, get there right when we open, because we make a limited amount and it runs out. Okay. So if you're like, oh, well, I'll get there when I get there, like you uh, might not get that da- daily special. You know, there's one that we didn't talk about, the, the jerk chicken on Thursdays. Yes. We got oh, we got a guy, jo- JJ. Sundays. Jamaican Sundays. style? Oh, yeah, so, so his so, father's oh, a Jamaican man. immigrant to Belize. Oh, he was mother. born in, in Belize, his father and mother. Yeah. He was born in Belize. His father has, shout out to Robin's jerk chicken in Belize. Oh, yeah. man. Um, <laughs> his if you're father on the has key, you got to go. Got to go get Robin's jerk chicken. Yeah. Oh, I and love that. So he oh. came out here and was working with us. And yeah. he is, he's brought his family recipe, and that's yeah. his every mom Sunday. just sent out a box of all the spices, spices. so she oh. could, he could make the jerk there at the restaurant. And I it am is, so in. It'll blow you away. Yeah. I am <laughs> so in. Uh, and you guys have um, uh, your menu online, right? People can order for well, takeout. Absolutely. Yes, yes. We don't have a website set up just yet. But if you go to our Instagram, the okay. Buck Bar Aspen, okay. on the top, there's a little tag. It says Toast Tab. That's our online ordering. Okay. You so you can order menu. in advance. We're just right there and then show up yeah. and pick it up. Yeah. So Buck Bar Aspen on Insta. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was looking at earlier today. Yep. That's how you do the uh, order yeah. yep. for pickup. You can do order for pickup. Okay, cool. Any other inside tips, Brad? Like what for locals who I are kind of looking to... I've had friends that come down and they look and it's too packed and they'll try to turn around. I I always recommend grab a look, drink. Hang look out. at look at one of us. We have usually a pretty good knowledge of where a seat's going to open up yeah. very soon, and we can get okay. people in. Um, I mean, so we've be been doing little, this long. Yeah. Be a little patient. Have a drink. Yeah, like Shout Nick and Laco would say, twenty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. twenty minutes. Have a mark. We, have a bean dip. We have a couple <laughs> little spots <laughs> to like talk people and hide them and get them a cocktail while they're waiting. Okay. And then you know, be like, hey, hang out. We'll help you. We'll help you facilitate something. Yeah. Okay. You know, so and people kind of it's, it's 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 a good mixture. Like some people come in, they get a beer, a burger, and they leave. Some people came in and they hung out, hang out all night. So there's, you never know. So it's always good to chat with, yeah. holler at the bartender. Or what, you know, there's, it's all bartenders that run the room. Okay. But like it'll be a bartender that comes out to the tables. You know, whoever's running those tables will have a good idea. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, that sounds, I mean, it, it's just a winning formula. It's what we've been clamoring for as locals for so long. Gathering places, right? Affordability. Yeah. Good yeah. food, good drink. Quick story, Brad. Uh, we got about two minutes, but... Uh, I mean, I'm sure you've seen the who's who kind of a vast been coming through there this winter. Oh, but yeah. There's a fun, uh, quick story come to mind of an experience at Buck one night that was kind of stands out as maybe just exceptional or super fun. I mean, every one of them does. But <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, I love and this is something I loved when I had the Red Onion is that you can have a lift operator yeah. sitting there drinking the cheapest beer next to a billionaire drinking Pappy it. Van Winkle and it. they just are talking about their day on the mountain there you know oh. and and that's what we that's what we want ski wanted. culture that's we, old ass yeah. yes, yes. Right. everybody get together and ha- and have fun and enjoy I being here so I love that yeah so bonding you, over the the love for the mountain yeah. it's the love for being oh. here and it's we're all the same Oh, right. my powder run was better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're all equal, right? It all equals out at Buck. When we're sitting next to each other, drinking that beer, uh-huh. have that helmet head or hat head or whatever. Yeah. Yes. And then everyone's equal. And yeah. I mean, um, Adam, closing thoughts. I mean, this is just a great local gathering spot, a hangout. And we're just trying to, you know, save the soul of town. Yeah. Make yeah. it just somewhere fun and like not like there's no preconceived notions just come down and hang out with us and yeah, like right. like you we're not going to be that place for that specialty high-end cocktail we're, we're coming down to hang out with you you know 
it's, if, it's, if you know where we are, you're welcome. Yeah. Right. There's not a sign up there, so. It's the bar under the Coop, Cooper, Cooper kitchen? Bar, bar under, under Cooper and kitchen. Bar under Cooper and kitchen. So, yes. you know, it's a bar and there's a kitchen. I got yeah. you. Yeah. I used to work at the old Cooper Street Pier, flipping burgers in the yeah. 80s. So I have a special affection for that spot. Yes. And, and now, of course, that's transferred to you guys where old Lucci's used to be yeah. under, under yes, there it, at exactly. that point in time, too. Yeah. So you know you're a local if you go, and the old, uh, yeah, Lucci's. the Lucci spot, and yeah. the old Laco spot, and yeah. you kind of know what was there we beforehand. Em- <laughs> yeah, really embraced the history of Aspen, too, because yeah. even the handrails coming down came from the smuggler mine. It's an old mine rail. That, Amazing. That, so. so incorporating things from the Red Onion, the Crystal Palace, yeah. smuggler, I mean, this is so cool. I mean, there's yeah. still some Red Onion pictures that the beers come out yeah. in, and yeah. Yeah. some of the yeah. old pass tables, yeah. Red that. Onion yeah. pass tables. And, and then as, as we close, uh, sports. It's going to be a great sports bar. Yeah, yes. it's definitely a sports bar. We have eight we TVs. All love, yeah. Eight screens. You could have all different events. Are you talking about ski racing? Maybe oh, some yeah. bike oh, yeah. racing oh, yeah. during the tour? Oh, yes, definitely. absolutely. You'll have me there in July. And absolutely. The Olymp- <laughs> and the Olympics are coming up this summer. I mean, yeah, yeah we'll be open it. for and, all of the Olympics. And we'll bend hours. Like, we it. might have our set hours, but there's no big event coming on. We'll open okay. earlier and... Yes. Yeah. Guys, yeah. unfortunately, we're out of time. Did you have fun on the show today? Oh, Absolutely. yeah. We're going oh, yeah. to we're gonna have to have you back. Brad, uh, thank pleasure. you so much. Adam, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank I baked you. you guys some cookies. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. bro. You guys are probably my best quality taste tester, so let me know. <laughs> All right. And thank you guys for watching us this week on The Local Show. That's awesome. Local Show. At the Wheeler Opera House, we set the stage for connections that create memories for our audiences, artists, and greater Aspen community. At the Wheeler Opera House, all are welcome. You're welcome to be a part of history. I'm so passionate about this community. I absolutely love living here and raising my family here. It gives me a lot of pride to share this with my friends and my clients and help them achieve their their dreams of owning an Aspen Snowmass and enjoying this incredible lifestyle. Join the string beans in helping reduce food waste in our community. Plan menus carefully and only buy what you need. Collect unused scraps for compost. Ask for smaller portions in restaurants. Take home leftovers to eat later. Donate unopened food to our food bank. Let's work in concert to reduce food waste. Sundog Athletics, Aspen's adventure sports school and snowshoeing specialists since 1996. Welcome to